Aaron, they announced that the x-rays for Gary Sanchez came back negative. Do you expect him to miss any significant of time, significant amount of time with the hand bruise? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll play Higgy tomorrow into the off day. Um, but m my feeling is in sense that from it, I haven't seen Gary yet after the game, but even later in the game that he was already feeling better. So I, I think it, my expectation would that he'll be back in there after the off day. What did you think overall of Montgomery? I thought he threw the ball well. I thought, you know, obviously two mistakes that cost him with the long ball. Um, but overall, I thought he was six strong. Um, I thought his secondary was good, his fastball and the cutter both were playing. I thought he was in command of, of the game. You know, six strong innings, manageable pitch count was striking guys out. Um, I thought he threw the ball really well. You look back at that first and second inning where it seemed like you had Glass now on the ropes a little bit and think just missed opportunities again? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the one thing you take is is that's a lot more like us where at least, you know, we weren't able to break through on them, but, you know, we're, we got, we're up against a really good pitcher and, and we made it really difficult and had our chances. Um, you know, still – you know, the handful of pitches that we're getting an opportunity to maybe do something with, we're not capitalized on yet, but I felt like at least up and down the order against a really good pitcher, um, it, you know, we we're heavy. It was it was heavy again. It was, it was difficult for him to get through it. And, um, you know, so hopefully that's something we can build on offensively. The uh, stolen base by Margot in the seventh inning, did you feel like Glaber should have come up with that ball? I, I have not seen a replay of it. I mean, it's one of those where – you know, Glaber's, Glaber's one of those guys that's really good with that kind of quick tag. You know, you think of Javi Baez. Glaber's kind of like that where he can, you know, <clears throat> he's just got good body control with that. So it's it's a tough bang-bang play. I thought Higgy did a good job on a, on a pitch down where Margot got a pretty good jump. Um, so I, I, I haven't seen the replay of it yet, or you know, but it's a tough bang-bang play either way. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Aaron, you've made the points before that it's really hard to string together a bunch of hits against a pitcher as good as Glass now, which is why home runs are, are great. Uh, and uh, now it's 15 home runs in 14 games for you guys. Yeah. Do you think guys are pitching you differently? Do you have, do you have any thoughts on, um, on why? I, I do think we've been pitched tough. There's no question. Um, and I think overall – I think we're actually controlling the strike zone a little bit. I think, you know, we've, we've fallen victim to not – when we have gotten pitches and, and, and there have been a handful of pitches each game that typically we, we do our damage on, um, you know, we, we're, we're putting those on the net or, you know, not, not doing damage on when you do get pitches. And that's, you know, that's, that's a lot of times the separator. Um, you you got to you got to not leave the strike zone a lot and when you do get a mistake you better hammer it especially um with some of the guys they roll out there now where it, it is difficult um to string stuff together so uh that's where we got to get to we got to get to when we get our pitch we got to do damage with it thank you Aaron. Brian Hope please unmute Aaron, uh, Tampa Bay has really had the upper hand in this rivalry, not just this year, but the last few years. Uh, is this last to a year. point? Well, last year, yeah. uh, f five and seventeen, uh, dating back to September oh. 2019. But anyway, uh, is this to a point where uh, you start to get concerned that it could get in your players' heads? No, we just need to play better. I mean, they're a really good team over there that's kind of kicked our butts here the last couple years, and and you know we got to do a better job of. Um, of you know closing out some games when we have a chance obviously they've been a, a team that's very good at, at limiting runs um the last couple of years and you know they've you know today you know it was pretty evenly matched game but they hit a few balls in the seats when they got their mistakes they put them in the seats today and um you know hopefully we can start to turn that tide tomorrow laura albanese go ahead Hey, Aaron, uh, pregame and yesterday you mentioned, mentioned the anger and frustration after yesterday's game. Is today a different sort of feeling, even though the result is, you know, at the end the same? Um, I mean, we, we definitely played a much cleaner, 
game today and 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 had our chances and uh, you know up against one of the game's really good pitchers and and had our chances there and I felt like we're much more in the fight today which you know is at least a good thing but um you know it, you know we don't want moral victories right now we we want to we want to start st stringing it together we want to start putting it together especially offensively um you know to where we can we can start running off some wins but we got to we got to start to play better. Obviously, today was at least a step in that direction, but but we need to start getting some results too. Um, and just uh, something a little bit different. I, uh, Gary hit after he uh, got hit by the foul ball. Is that always the plan, or did he feel something a little extra when he was getting in that sort of pump and come out? Get after, I, I get, I, we I, didn't make that out. After well, the flag. Oh, sorry. sorry, I'm. Can you say it again? Yeah, sorry. Um, Gary hit uh, after he got hit by the foul oh, ball. Right. Is that always the plan? Or did he feel something after he hit that? No, that it just, when we came back in, it was, you know, still kind of sore and maybe a little swelling in there and just felt like, um, you know, my initial reaction when I saw him, because he usually doesn't have me come out. He usually wears things pretty well out there and waves me off. And I could tell right away he kind of went down. I think he got hit somewhere else too that, um, but I think he just had a little swelling in there and was affecting him throwing uh, more than hitting. So, uh, just felt like it was it was best to get him out of there. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, you, you mentioned about how a lot of guys are, are missing, kind of missing their pitch. You know, yeah. m maybe missing pitches that they could normally do something with. That occasionally happens with maybe one or two guys when they're scuffling a little bit. But you've had it. It seemed like all the way down the list. Do you think that that kind of thing gets in guys' heads of trying to feel like they need to be the guy? and kind of maybe get a little hyped up for that, for that pitch, or is that an oversimplification? Yeah, I mean, look, I, you know, it's it, it's a tough game. Hitting's a tough game, especially more so now than ever. And I think when you add in the start of the season and, and you want to get rolling, you know, as a team, but also individually you want to just kind of get settled in. And, um, you know, you, you do have to guard against – you know, trying so hard or wanting it so bad. You know, there's right. there's that fine line between really, really being focused, really being locked in, really wanting it, but also, you know, going and playing and and not necessarily chasing the result because you, you drive yourself crazy there. It's it's go have a quality at bat, and usually the role, results over time will follow when you're a talented player. Right. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Aaron, thank you for the time. Appreciate it.